Hi, I'm Shane Tubbs. I'm the Chief Scientific Officer for the Seattle Science Foundation. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Mitch Berger, who's Chair and Professor at UCSF and uh, is here uh, as uh, one of our visitors for our Innovations in Brain Tumor Treatment uh, that's being hosted uh, today. Thank you for coming, Mitch. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, we're uh, very happy to have you here, and uh, why don't we start off by uh, maybe telling the viewers a little bit about your uh, background, uh, where you grew up, uh, how you got interested in medicine. Well, I grew up in Miami, Florida, and uh, sort of always had an interest in medicine as it related primarily to the brain. So I was always interested in psychology and kind of had an interest in fixing things as a kid, you know, as a carpenter. and. Mm. So those two things fit together and it turned out to be neurosurgery. Wow. wow. But I think my, the, the thing that drove it a little further was the interest in cancer and cancer biology. And certainly the brain tumor field is very challenging, as you know. Sure. So it's all worked out. Sure. Well, where did you do your training? I was in San Francisco at UCSF. You were, okay. Yep. And then I came up to Seattle for uh, 11 years, worked at the University of Washington, and then went back to San Francisco. Okay. I didn't realize it until I was doing some uh, reading this morning that you trained as a pediatric neurosurgeon as well. I did do a year of fellowship in uh, in Toronto at the Sick Kids Hospital and had an interest in pediatric brain tumors and uh, still do that to this day. Do you? Yep. How much of your practice is uh, peds versus adult? Oh, I, most of it's adult. Is it? The vast majority. But any tumors that are very peculiar with regard to functional mapping, you know, I'll do the kids and um, take care of that sure. population, yeah. Okay. Uh, what, your lab is there as well? Yeah. And uh, the focus is just brain tumors? Yeah, brain tumor research. We have a, a, a whole different uh, set of research laboratories involving genomics, epigenetics, drug delivery, uh, and then uh, just a whole bunch of independent investigators who are doing things uh, that have to do with sort of the molecular pathways and biomarkers for, for brain tumors. And then we have a very active clinical trials program, clinical trials unit, where we have a number of phase one, phase two studies. And so it's a, it's a nice integrated group of neuro-oncologists, neurosurgeons, PhDs, all working under this one roof to uh, deal with brain tumors. I see. Well, UCSF is usually, is not usually, is at the top of the pyramid as far as research in neurosurgical departments. Um, what do you attribute that to? Well, I, I think it's it's uh, not too different than, than if you look at yourself and your productivity, which has been huge in your career. I think it's just the mindset that you get into. And, you know, part of our uh, existence is about discovery and teaching. And so everything we do should have a translational focus to it. And we should write up our data and our results. And that's part of the mantra for the residents and the faculty at UCSF. So uh, it's just everybody who works there understands that's just part of it. And well, you know, you've, you've done the drill very nicely in your career. So. Well, thank you. Well, you, you guys there uh, really uh, give a new meaning to excellence in uh, research. No, I appreciate that. So I, I think the viewers would probably be very interested to know a little bit more about your uh, interaction with the NFL and what you've done there. Well, the, the NFL piece, it's interesting. We've just, uh, I've just served as a medical advisor to the NFL on, okay. uh, on the uh, uh, head, neck, and spine committee, and, and and what we've been interested in is just trying to make it a safer game and think about rules changes and um, uh, all those things that go into the analysis of of how to be safer on the field. You know, just it's it's no different than patient safety, mm -hmm. player safety. It's it's just an extension of it all, and it's been a very interesting and rewarding process. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe as a, a parting question, I'd like to ask you, you've, you've listened to experts in the field of uh, brain tumor research this morning, yourself included. What do you think uh, the next two decades holds for us? Uh, what's going to be the big change? Well, I think you're going to see a, a real significant paradigm shift from what we used to call sort of a, a shot in the dark 
where we'd throw a lot of different things at it that had no specificity to the tumor itself. Now enter the age of genomic sequencing and the fact that we now have a personalized signature of all these tumors in a given patient. And then if you can do that in a relatively inexpensive, time-sensitive fashion, you can use that information to create a very personalized approach that can adapt as you go. So in other words, we know the tumors change over time. And so at one setting after the initial surgery, you develop a personalized approach. At the recurrence, you resequence that tumor, you come up with a new signature, and then you do a new treatment. So uh, I think you're gonna see things that are gonna be very personalized and specific to that given patient as opposed to this shot in the dark. Sure. No, so it'll be interesting. That's very interesting. Well, we really appreciate you taking time My out pleasure. of your busy schedule to speak with us and uh, come to the Seattle Science Foundation and uh, speak to the crowd this morning at the Brain Tumor uh, Conference and hope you'll come back very soon. I will. Thanks very much for having Thank me. Thank you, Mitch. Okay. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you. Thank you.